Hi there. I'm Professor Gatsis. I am your math professor for this semester. I will be teaching you Math 1146 for the next six weeks, followed by six weeks with Jessie, Professor Vadut. Many of you may have had her already. I would like to welcome you to the semester. Hopefully, uh, your week is going to get off to a good one, and you have uh, very little difficulty getting your bearings with the online delivery. So, if you've noticed already, I have posted some information on Blackboard. So what I have on my screen here is the second part of the course outline. A couple of things here. The course outline has two parts, and this is the second part which contains the actual weekly breakdown. So in the course outline, you'll see my name right there, John Gatsis, and there is my email. If I click on it, it's going to open up a browser, but you can email me there. That is by far the best way to find me, and I'm very good at answering your emails. If you uh, have taken a post-secondary course, uh, university or college, in math that is comparable to this one, you can reach out to me by email to see if it's possible to get an exemption. Exemptions need to be processed uh, this week, so reach out to me as soon as possible. In terms of the assessments, I will be administering five assignments over the next six weeks. So this week there is going to be a small lesson, probably posted later today or tomorrow, followed by an assignment next week. So your assignments don't start until week two, and you'll see that in the five assignments, they're worth 10% uh, each. These assignments are um, very, uh, will be very strictly marked, and I'll be looking, obviously, for cheating, so please make sure to take as much care as possible and not to plagiarize. Uh, the second half of the semester will work the same way. Jesse will administer uh, five assignments followed by potentially one extra assignment in case you missed any earlier in the semester. So that's pretty much it in terms of the course outline. Now, some of the things I'd like to say to you in, in terms of the content of the course is probably better off in a separate document. So I'd like to direct your attention to the weekly schedule. This is posted on Blackboard as well. This is kind of like your one-page roadmap for what's going to happen every week with me. So as you can see, we have six weeks together, and in the first three weeks, I'm going to cover Chapter 4. Chapter 4 is on trigonometry, as is actually all the chapters I'll deliver with you. So I'm going to deal with the Pythagorean theorem and several of its applications. Now, when you think of Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, for example, it's not a joke. Like, in the first lesson, yeah, we're going to do some pretty uh, straightforward stuff, but I promise you that things are going to get challenging, even for the strongest students. So please take some time and really uh, make an honest effort in terms of going through the examples. And I'll be there to guide you along the way. In the uh, weeks four and five, I'll start talking about sine, cosine, and tan, still working with right angle triangles. And I'll uh, split that material over um, two weeks. In week six, and our last week together prior to you switching over to the other professor, I will be covering a short chapter called chapter six, which will deal with uh, 20 tougher questions. So this is really there to just make sure that you can solidify your understanding of the Pythagorean theorem, the sine, cosine, and tan. Now, if you are familiar with more advanced trigonometry methods like sine and cosine law, they do help answer some of these questions faster, but I will stick to right angle triangle analysis for the entire six weeks that I'm dealing uh, with the material with you. So each week, I've actually posted here the pages that you can look at in the course notes. So if it says page 13 to 21, you're responsible for all the questions and all the homework within those pages. In the first week, since we're only doing one section, you'll see it's very short. The lesson that I'll provide there will basically come down to something like um, me taking sample questions from the homework and combining you with a little bit of a mini lesson prior. Because this material may be a little bit of a review for some people, um, you can if you like to accelerate your process of learning, just try the questions um, in the homework and see if that works better for you. In terms of the delivery, it will be an asynchronous learning format. 
So in this letter that I've provided on Blackboard, I talk about that right here. So asynchronous means that um, it does not have to be live. So if your class, for example, is from 8 to 10 in the morning on a Tuesday or a Wednesday or a Thursday, which is most of what my sections have, it doesn't mean that you have to get up at 8 o'clock in the morning to watch the live lecture because the lecture will be pre-recorded and posted on YouTube. So I will be doing this in, a, in a such a fashion that I'll have the lecture, except for this week because there is no assignment, I'll have the lecture posted on, uh, on Blackboard as a link to a YouTube page and you can look and go through the material and by Friday though, you'll have to do an assignment for me. So the process will be something like Monday, Tuesday, I'll post the video and then between Tuesday and Friday, you work on an assignment. The assignment is very short, it's one page and will consist of one easy, one medium and what I call one harder question and they will be marked strictly. Um, in this page here, that I've, I've summarized the weekly breakdown, but on the second page of this document, I actually show you an example of an assignment from last semester. Now, this one has only two questions, and uh, I would tend to put more questions in terms of this course because it's more smaller size problems. The course that I'm showing you here is from a, an upper level course in uh, statics. So that's pretty much it. I really look forward to helping you out through the material and yes, let's have a good semester. I'm looking forward to talking to you by email and uh, that's about it. Take care.